Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video here today and another episode of my MotoGP19 career mode here today for the British Grand Prix and my home race at Silverstone. If you guys missed the last episode at Austria at the Red Bull Ring, then go watch the video guys by clicking the link in the top right hand corner of your screen to go watch that video before we jump into any major spoilers here today. But this is the British Grand Prix and last time guys we had a lot of trouble in Austria with the wheelies. That was the main problem and why we had no pace and eventually finished down in last place after having a crash I believe. And um, you know it hasn't gone too well for us to be honest with you. We have struggled and partly down to the fact I think that AI you now I'm running maximum difficulty. I think I can't handle it so therefore that's one thing that is going to change. And also I have been doing some practice and uh, it seems like... The bike I have in career mode doesn't match the bike in time trial, so it's kind of hard to find a consistency there because um, I did some practice in time trial and I was actually doing really well. I was keeping the bike nicely on the ground, there was no wheelies, and I was keeping it nice under control, but then I jumped into, into practice out of curiosity at Silverstone and I had the issues again. So not as bad. I've definitely improved since Austria. The practice has definitely helped out. I found a few little tweaks here and there and also some setup changes, but it definitely seems like we need to finish this upgrade pile to really make sure we get the bike that we want. Therefore, we're going to have to work on these. Currently, I'm saving up for this second anti really upgrade, which is going to cost 130 points, so we're currently on 60. We need, I think, at least two more races before we can afford the next upgrade, but other than that, we're going to jump into practice first and foremost here at Silverstone. Hopefully, we can have a decent race weekend ahead of us and uh, hopefully go straight to Q2 and then Fingers crossed qualifying goes a little bit better than it did at Austria. Either way, let's jump into things here at Silverstone. Let's see how we get on at the British Grand Prix. Okay, so far so good, I'd say, on this first lap. Just trying to slowly build up my confidence. The bike definitely doesn't feel as good as time trial, but I can try and make it as good as I can. At the minute, we are, to be fair, on double medium, front and rear. We will be on softs compared to time trial, but then again, I need to get used to this tyre, because this is probably the race I'm going to be using, so... So far, I'd say it's been a decent first lap. We should be able to beat the time threshold quite comfortably as we run up to the line. And there we go. I'm what, a 2 minute 1.4. Very comfortable. I was doing 157s in time trial. That's how good my pace was. But that's unrealistic, I think. I don't think we're going to be able to achieve that in crewman unless we have the bike fully maxed out. Having said that, it's working well for us. And... Uh, if I can also maybe get some hard time running in, possibly to find some confidence in that tyre, that would help me out in terms of my race pace, because we could be running that tyre as well. On a better lap here, we're going to get past the Enone quite comfortably as we make our way into Brooklyn. I've run that in a bit hot though, I can't lie, I've got to be careful. We'll use both brakes to try and slow it down the Enone. Goes for the re-overtake. I was going to have a look there, but he closes the door on us. Dovi sets a lap inside two minutes, which is fair enough. I was on for an improvement, about a half second up, but I think we might have thrown that away by running wide, but either way, through the final corner, up to the line, and there we go, job done, maximum points, currently on the quick lap simulation, I'm on a decent lap, not my best lap on my goodness lap by any means, but it should be good enough to beat the time that we have set for us, a little bit wide there, we'll get away with that, but we are currently on target to go quickest hopefully, if we just nail the rest of the lap. Nicely done there. A little bit wide, but that's okay. We'll get it in for the late apex. Let's see if we can get a nice clean exit out of here, which is going to be important. Easing the throttle. There we go. A little bit of a short shift to third gear. Now we can get the power down completely. Through the final corner. A little bit loose on the curb. Across the line. And there we go. Into the 58s. Job done. And there we go then. So, like I said, I think I found a bit of pace. The bike doesn't feel phenomenal, but still, we you know, the pace is there. We're 9 tenths up on Dovi, so... Looking pretty damn good. The AI yet to run the soft tyre, but I might increase the difficulty going into qualifying to 118, possibly. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Other than that, it's looking pretty confident. And it's looking pretty damn good. I've hit both of my, of my practice program targets on the distance analysis and also the quick lap simulation. So I think I'm going to call it a day there. I would do the race simulation normally, but this is such a long lap and it's five laps of program. So we're not going to do it right now. Um, I'm a little bit short for time. But other than that, it's been a good practice session. We're now going to move into qualifying though. And hopefully we can try and improve on our qualifying performances. Okay, so we're into Q2 in third place. So Dovi first, Rin second, and we managed to get through quite comfortably in P3. I haven't changed the difficulty yet. I am going to raise it, but only to 116. I feel like... 180 maybe a bit too much. I might do that for the race maybe, but for now we're going to stick to 116 because I need to kind of build up my confidence. I don't want to kind of run before I can walk. So yeah, we're going to go up to 116 and try and tackle qualifying and see how we get on in this session. All right, here we go then. Start our qualifying. Let's get on to our first lap. Usual settings from now on. Traction control on two. Anti-wheelie on four. 
Engine braking on one. That's what I like. That's what I found works for me. Let's get cracking. A bit loose there, but this has been a nice clean lap so far. I can't lie, not done yet though. Easy does it on the power at the final corner, straight line the eggs as much as we can. One more corner to go, a little bit wide, but we'll keep it in track limits up to the line. And it's a 57 8. Fantastic lap, that's right on the money. That's what I was doing in time trial. Very surprised I could pull it off actually. I wasn't confident. We'll go for another run. My first sector wasn't great, so we definitely can find a bit of time there. A little bit. Deeper through there, took a bit of a different line. We are up by about a tenth of a second. I was three tenths up in the first sector. I kind of lost a bit of time gradually as the lap went on and we get loose out the final corner that wasn't the best exit. Overheating the rear tire as we run up to the line. Are we improving? No, we're not. We just missed out by a fraction. But with five minutes to go, I'm gonna box in, strap on one more set of soft tires and go again. But I think we're looking pretty good for pole position here in this qualifying session. I can't lie, I'm very impressed with the improvement. I've actually surprised myself, I've got to be honest. Having said that, it's a good thing I did improve because it's actually closer than I thought. Um, Dovia Marquez gave me a run for my money there with a 58-0 and 116 AI. So good thing I didn't go to 118 because it seems like we're still, we've still got some work to do. But definitely I'm happy with the bike. I think we can go quicker than that. There is a better lap there. I think a low 57 is there. So we're going to try and go for that right now and uh, strap on a fresh set of soft tyres. A bit of contact there with Petrucci. That wasn't the cleanest move I've ever made. I thought I was going to get him on the braking quite comfortably, but he surprised me how late he managed to brake. We've run it a bit hot there. I know I'm going to I'm going to back off this lap. I'll go for another one afterwards, but I got a bit scruffy and a little bit out of my hands. I want to try and get some clean air. I don't really want to be battling somebody on my lap, so we'll back off for now and we'll try again next time around. The clock's just hit two minutes, so we are going to miss the cutoff point. Therefore, we're only going to get this lap. So. We have to make it count, the Trucci pit, so at least I didn't ruin his lap with that incident, but this lap is all or nothing, now we've got to try and improve if we can. Not the best start at all, running wide there, that no, is not what we wanted. It hasn't been a good first sector so far, that's a bit scruffy from me. And that's where I thought most of the time was. Uh, struggling there as well, this hasn't been a good lap. Trying to really push to the limit, the last bit of the lap now. Going to try and go for a bit of a tighter line through here if we can. Check if flag drops. Power down now at the final corner, up to the line. All about getting the line right, which is absolutely perfect, but it's not going to be enough. And we do not improve. But luckily for us, nobody else did. So, pole position for us at the British Grand Prix ahead of Dovi and Marcus. And it's exactly what we needed to respond after a couple of bad races and dropping down in the Riders' Championship. For the race, I am going to pick up the difficulty. I'm going to go up to 118 for the race. I'm going to try my luck and see how it goes. Either way, qualifying has been a success. We now move into the race for the British Grand Prix. Here we are then. It's race time at Britain. There is Andrea Dovizioso. 
Started from second place and of course Marquez behind him in P3. First of all, we're going to select our tyres. Now, I'm not quite sure what to run here, to be honest with you. I want to try and go aggressive. So, I am going to gamble and go for a medium, medium. Uh, we'll see how this one pays off. Could be risky. Uh, possibly a hard rear might be a better option, actually, and I think about it. Um, oh, I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to try and go for the medium, medium, because we need to roll the dice a little bit here. And I'm just going to double-check my setup is looking good, so... ECU, first of all, the electronics. Yeah, okay, I need to adjust them again. For some reason, they don't save, so I've got to always do them manually, but traction control 2, engine brake 1, anti wheelie 4, and then the gear ratio as well. I max out my first five gears and then shorten the last one. So that's the setup I'm going to run from now on every single race. But that is it for the preparation. We're now going to get a racing here for the British Grand Prix, and hopefully we can try and pick up a much-needed 25 points for the World Riders Championship. Here we go, then. The one thing I haven't practiced is my start, so we're going to find out how they are now. Five lights are on, and away we go. And we get away very well. We hold the lead. No really, absolutely perfect. I mean, there was a little bit of a wheelie, but that was very nicely controlled. And this is exactly what we wanted. Now we've got to try and race away. Use the fact I'm quite quick in the first sector to try and open up a gap. The AI tend to die from quite far back, so again, it's important to try and pull away, get those early apexes as well to make sure that AI don't go down the inside. If I leave myself exposed, they will launch one up the inside. But so far, look at the gap on the minimap and behind us, we're pulling away here. This is exactly what we want. Still a long way to go. It's a long race. And of course, running double medium means we could suffer with tires at the end, but I'm going to try and ride smoothly and manage that as best as I can. I feel confident I can do that. But this is a great start so far and a really good opening lap pace. Seems good, the bike's working well. We'll see where we are now in the second sector split. Just got to get through this last corner corner. And there we go, onto the new pit straight for F1. And so far, things are looking good. We've got a nice healthy gap over Dovi. Let's keep it that way. So far, so good. We're actually holding the wheelie under control quite nicely, even on the mediums. As we cross the start finish, a 201 on our opening lap having you know got up from a dead start off the line that's a good lap from us a little bit wider to the curb there had to get off the gas a little bit but we're looking good here if we can just have a strong lap now to kind of really pick up the pace and make the difference that'd be good for us we need to try and establish our lead early on whilst we've got these tires but we got pretty damn close there i left the door quite open i tried to get a bit of a switch back exit to really get a nice bit of traction and dovi almost made me pay if he'd gone up the inside there would have been a big crash or i would have had to have gone wide and that would have allowed Dobby through. So this is what I'm saying. Even with a one second gap, you're never really safe. Again, they're running wide. Oh, that is doing me no favours as we get a little bit loose. A little bit too much gas there on the exit. I'm trying to get a little bit too excited on the on the acceleration. Having said that, it has been a good lap from me. We've uh, increased the gap slightly. Let's see across the line what the pace is. And it's a 58.8 on medium. That's okay. That's on the money. We need a bit more than that though. If we can try, I need to pull a little bit more out of the bag if we can currently Rossi P3 and Marquez P4 with Dovi in second place almost one well, again there gotta be careful I need to try and stay smooth not get erratic I am struggling with the braking now into uh, certain corners I'm braking where I usually do and it's not quite working just gotta try and recompose myself adapt to the situation We've still got about a one second gap, so composure is key. Dovi, Marcus, Rossi, all in a big scrap here. At the minute, all I've got to do is keep things tidy and also don't expose myself in certain corners and leave the door wide open because Dovi will launch it from absolutely miles back. Or in this case, Marquez now is in P2. Those guys are just constantly switching around in terms of positions. But the gap has come down a little bit, but it's still around a second, which is good. So let's just keep it going. Half race distance now. Oh dear, that was what I worried about. I tried not to go too wide there, but apparently that was too wide. Luckily for us, we kept our lead, but it has been cut down because of that as Elisha Spargo hits the deck. Marco is now putting the pressure on, so this isn't over yet. I'm confident I can hold on with my tyres, which is a good thing now, but the problem now is going to be being careful for those kind of incidents, but Marco is going to be close. Although Rossi has dealt with him there by getting into second place, but Marco responds again. That's going to cost them time, which is good for us. Dovi's seemingly getting involved again as we cross the line and we've established our gap. So 
Once again, we're about a second clear after that little bit of contact with Marquez, which wasn't very nice. This time we're going for the early apex, and that works out much better for us. As it's kicking off behind, they're still battling away. But we're well clear of all the dramas. We're a little bit wider on the exit onto the Wellington Street, but look at the gap behind. You can see also on the minimap how much further ahead we are. A little bit wide there, but that's okay. We'll get the late apex. Just two more laps to go. Red tire is starting to fade a little bit, but we're okay. I still feel in control. Struggling a little bit. I'm still going to try and get that apex. There we go. We just avoid Marquez sweeping us away there. A little bit wide again. I've got to be careful with that, but my rear is starting to let go. Dry Mir falls down. Come on, we're almost there. Okay, we're nearly there. Seven tenths gap to Marquez. That's a little bit dangerous. I need this section to be perfect. And it pretty much is. If I can just get the apex, there we go. Rear tar squirming. But we do get it down to the apex just about. What we've got to do is get an early apex now for the second one. There we go, that's what we want. Mark has tried it, but no way through. Easy does it now, through the kink, onto the Wellington straight. Nice and easy, come on, we need this win, this is massive for us. Into Brooklyn. Part again a bit loose, but we are again keep it under control. Now into Luffield, keeping a nice low line to avoid Marcus having a look on the inside. And there we go, a little bit of a short shift, power down, and job done. We are going to win the British Grand Prix, and we are right back, and what a response, and the hard work pays off. There we have the race results though, as you can see on screen, and it's Marquez in second, and Rossi in the end third, and Dovi actually finished in fifth place, so Vignana's actually got him as well. We also pick up the fast lap of the Grand Prix, so again, it kind of showcases that we just had the edge all weekend long, and I'll kind of gradually build my way back up to maximum difficulty, slowly but surely, but either way, very happy with that one, and pretty much well deserved in my opinion, I think we did a really good job, and the bike was absolutely fantastic, in terms of the standings though, with that race, when we jump back up into the top, into the top five, still 30 points off the top, you know, Mark Marquez leads the way, and there's a bit of a gap there between Rossi and Rins, but definitely I think, you know, P4 is achievable for us, and uh, there's still plenty of races to go, so you never know what could happen, either way, that win was much needed, and we can now hopefully kick on from this, as we now jump into the team championship, and you can see currently, we are in sixth place, quite a way behind Repsol, Honda, but we are going to try and close that gap, because they're only one point behind Suzuki, so those two teams could be possibly, you know, achievable, trying to overtake them and finish in fourth place, in terms of the constructors though, we now cut the deficit to Honda and also Ducati, 49 points adrift, and they were comfortably ahead of Zuki. So yeah, overall, a good day at the office, and you know, hopefully this is the start of a very strong end to the season for us, and we can try and make a late push for the World Riders Championship. But guys, that is going to be it for this video here today. Okay, scratch that. Quite interestingly, we've actually got an offer to sign for multiple teams, including the Works Yamaha team, the Works Ducati team, Tech3 KTM, and Aprilia. I am tempted to go to the Works Yamaha team, I can't lie. It is very tempting. I, it, if you look at the performance, it would really help the bike, and it, we, we, it'd be a lot better for us to just, you know, really push in terms of performance. But, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know what I fancy doing. I think it would, it would help me, you know, really push for the championship. So we could go for it, I think. And it would also give me the ability to... Um, run maximum difficulty so i think we're going to sign with the works team and you know push with them for the rest of the season so yeah let's do it let's sign the thing if you guys enjoyed it then drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new for daily formula one and moto gp content and also check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them also guys turn on notifications to not miss any future content from me and that is going to be it for this video here today and i'll see you in my next episode very soon for the moto gp crew guys but until then it's goodbye from me